Hi, I'm Dr. George Joshua, and we're continuing our roundtable discussion. We've already done labiaplasty and labia majora reduction, and now we're going to have questions about the vaginal rejuvenation procedure. So Dr. Joshua, what influenced you to start doing vaginal rejuvenation? So when I first heard vaginal rejuvenation, I thought it was somewhat of a gimmicky thing. I do prolapse repairs, so we the purpose of a prolapse repair is to make the vagina normal like it was before pregnancy, so it's not collapsing or prolapsing and that the anatomy is normal. So as I started thinking more about it on the vaginal rejuvenation, uh, calling it vaginal rejuvenation, it does somewhat overlap those two areas. So fixing the vagina and elevating the vagina and then rejuvenating the vagina are the same thing. So I said, okay, well, part of what the prolapse surgery is, is a vaginal rejuvenation procedure. So yes, I do them. And then once I started saying that I do them, we did see a, a different patient population. Patients that were much more attuned to how they wanted their vagina to function and how they wanted their perineum or the opening to the vagina to function. So that has made me a little bit more meticulous and um, uh, dynamic in the approach to that part of the procedure. And now I actually think, yeah, we do do a rejuvenation as part of prolapse surgeries. Okay, and then so Sarah, um, do you really do the vaginal rejuvenation surgery? So as Dr. Shoshua mentioned, um, it often is a part of the prolapse repair. Um, there's different terms for the procedure, vaginoplasty, vaginal rejuvenation, um, and there's laser approaches, surgical approaches. So with laser therapy that's offered at some other places that might help with vaginal dryness or mild symptoms, the patients we see usually have um, pretty significant either you know relaxation of the muscle, stretching of the muscle from deliveries, um, or just kind of changes with time and that relaxation. Sometimes they don't have sensation with intercourse or they don't feel anything with intercourse because the muscle is so relaxed. Um, so for those patients, a surgical repair is definitely a better way to go because we rebuild the muscle, the perineal body, and actually tighten the vagina. Um, so, yes. And Kristen, what is your typical patient population for vaginal rejuvenation? Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our, I would say from a patient population that we see, we see patients um, as young as in their 20s all the way into their 80s. Um, obviously as they get a little bit older into their 70s, 80s, you know, surprisingly that patient population is still sexually active in some cases. Um, so they do still note some vaginal rejuvenation benefits after our procedures. But um, a lot of times, um, patients coming in either for prolapse or vaginal rejuvenation, um, they've had large deliveries, they're noticing relaxation, and just like Sarah was mentioning, um, they've noticed decreased sensation with intercourse. Um, they may notice like a gaping sensation or the vagina feels like it's always open. Um, there's really no, um, no patient population um, aside from health factors that I would say would not fall into a vaginal rejuvenation category. And Dr. Shashua, um, what can women expect long-term following a vaginal rejuvenation procedure? So I think that's where the finesse part of the procedure comes in. Um, if you think of vaginal rejuvenation as just tightening the vagina, in those cases it could also potentially shorten the vagina. And that would have consequences, especially later in life during menopause where the vagina shortens naturally and uh, sexual activity could become an issue. Then. So what we try to do is restore the anatomy of the vagina so that patients can naturally go through the changes of life and have the same functionality of the vagina. So by restoring the normal length of the vagina, it, it leads to a long-term solution from a sexual function standpoint. And Kristen, the famous question everybody wants to know, <laughs> what is a designer vagina? Okay, so um, if you Google vaginal rejuvenation um, and you've watched any type of, um, you know, uh, uh, 
TV or read any like Cosmos or anything like that. Um, they're talking about vaginas or designer vaginas, um, and kind of yeah, Sarah um, kind of broached on the subject of lasers and things like that. And I kind of look at a designer vagina from a surgical and laser standpoint. I consider a laser kind of a knockoff version of the vaginal rejuvenation surgery. Um, you're definitely going to get something that kind of touts that it's going to give you the benefits um, that a real procedure would have, but you're definitely not going to get the same um, results. Um, does the designer vagina from a surgical standpoint, you know, we essentially restore the vagina to pre-pregnancy. Um, if you're wanting vaginal tightness, um, you know, and wanting to get the sensation back from a sexual standpoint, you know, we are able to provide that not only from a vaginal rejuvenation standpoint, but we're also able to combine labia majora, labia minora procedures with that, um, labiaplasties, um, to kind of create an overall look that the patient, um, look and feel that the patient is going for from a vaginal standpoint.